how running sprints seems to be the most efficient and effective form of training. You know, this is Gavin Mail. I've been doing, uh, I started doing sprints in like 2016 and I fell off uh, for, you know, on and off for a number of years. And now coming back into them for the last six months consistently, you know, it's, uh, it's just an incredible feeling that you get not only give them sprints, but the amount of time that it takes. Because from the time that I, that I take from, if you're making the decision that I'm gonna do it, and that's it, period, to actually running six sprints at a 100 yard dash with, a, with let's say a 50 yard walk in between to relax, to cool down and then do another one. I mean, that, that time right there takes about 10 minutes to 12 minutes. So for me, I drive to the track, 10 minutes, 10 minutes back, 10 minutes, 30 minutes total, I'm done. And it could be even faster than that if I don't even drive. You know, if I just wanted to do it on the street, outside. So, you know, but what I'm noticing is that the, uh, I think the cortisol levels get raised up, you know, during work hours, stress, performance that you're doing, you know, throughout the day. And then being able to run sprints is that, absolute release of cortisol it's this fight it's this flight mentality where you know a bird comes in and attacks another bird and then the bird just he flies away and gets away and flies away shakes his feathers off and gets the whole gets rid of the whole thing that seems to be what sprints are for us or if there's a if there's a lion attacking another form of prey and that prey just sprints off on moments notice just to get away and and they go relax they, they're okay now they're, they just completely forget about it uh, you know for me though if I'm not running sprints it, you know that that stress that tension can it can uh, bother me you know it could be like negative so much like focusing on some sort of a business transaction you know, it's like, oh, it just needs to get that cortisol out and charge it. And it seems like the, uh, I'm, I'm sitting in, I'm sitting in, the, in the office today and I'm getting worked done. I'm like, antsy, antsy, antsy. I didn't get up early enough to, I didn't get early enough to run sprints. And I knew, I was like, man, I just got to get out there by, uh, you know, this first break that I had. And by the time I, I did it in 15 minutes, I'm there, you know, 25, 30 minutes, I'm back. I just felt like ready to focus now ready to focus on work and getting things done and I don't I wasn't as antsy to like I felt like antsy I'm just sitting there not focused not getting stuff done you know when I when I was when I didn't do it so it's just a you know incredibly efficient fast I mean I, I used to just do walking I mean I, I still do walking walking is still good but you know for the for the the period of time let's say 15 minutes 12 minutes of sprints you know let's say I'm running 100 600 yard dashes with rest periods where I'm fully resting all the way down you know the deep breathing because it causes it, it causes the deep breathing it requires it it's just uh, you know there's no question about it. so that deep breathing of air is really good and then fully recharging again it, it just feels like the it feels like just such an efficient way of training I mean Walking around may burn some calories and, and whatnot, but I I, I just notice, I, I physically notice the difference in my body and my training and, and getting tighter and leaner and stronger and while I'm doing sprints consistently over the last six months. And, it, and just the mental uh, clarity, the mental focus that's been able to give me and the amount of stress and cortisol it's able to release. You know, so I need that, I need that release. You know, the training and resistance training is great, but spritz is another way to just get that male cortisol release that seems like it's just going all out. Now, for me, I, 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 I used to be a big stretcher. Now I'm not. Now I want to get out there and sprint as fast as I can. So all I'm doing is I'll, I'll get and bend down, do squats, or do one-legged squats, split squats one-legged split squats or just straight squats or plyometric jumping just to get my quads loosened up because I'm noticing for whatever reason my my left quad will get it will get muscle tension will get sore when I go all out so one of the things that's important to do is not to not to just 
just explode right off the bat. Like for me, I'll start walking a little bit, then I'll start, you know, uh, like before the hundred yard dash starts, I'll start jogging a little bit, getting the jogging going, and then as soon as I hit that starting point at the at the starting line, then I'm going trying to go full speed. And right now, because I'm a little bit, I was a little bit limber on my leg, I'm trying to go. I mean, today I was probably about eighty five percent. Now I was going on a hundred. I would say 95% about a month ago on sprints. But for whatever reason, it caused a, you know, me to go a little bit sore and tighten my quad. So now I was down to like 70% where I really couldn't couldn't go all the way out. And now I'm at an 85% today and it felt so good to finally bring it all the way back. So, you know, for anyone who's not doing sprints, you're really missing out no matter what age you are. Sprints are made for everybody. Uh, you know, it's our natural, it seems like our natural way to to train it's our natural way to move you know walking yeah it's just kind of boring you know walking yeah walking I mean, you do walking it's great it's very slow you're you know it's boring and it takes a lot of time to walk for an hour uh you know so i'm just trying to get the most a maximum amount of efficiency that's why i like the the resistance training as well but the maximum efficiency in this sprints it's hard for me to to say no i don't have time to do it if i only takes me say 12 minutes plus travel time i mean come on that's just no excuses. Just get it done. No phone, by the way. When I'm doing it, I'm like not carrying a phone or bringing a phone and getting distracted. Heck no. You know. By the way, don't bring your phone out into the track or when you're running the sprints and all oh, listen to music. It's not the same. You, know, you can't be listening to music and when you're doing sprints. Maybe when you're jo walking, okay, pot, whatever, that's fine. But running sprints, it's all freaking out. You know, there is no phone, dude. You know, so hopefully the helpful tips on how I'm doing my sprints. Like, comment, subscribe. This is Gavin Mail. See ya.